Most rural communities in Zambia have mainly relied on community radio stations for information. But now this narrative is changing as the Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation ZNBC is penetrating these communities to ensure everyone has access to accurate and timely information. Northern Province has received two FM transmitters under the Rural FM Radio Project being undertaken by the UPND government as a tool to empower the local communities with information. The coverage of FM Radio 1 and 2 here in Morocco is helping us a lot. For those who doesn't have an opportunity to watch on TV, they are able to get the information through the radio. Porokoso and Senga Hill are the beneficiaries of these FM transmitters. The money that government allocated to you, you put it to good use. As a ministry, we are grateful for the work you are doing. The service you are providing as a national broadcast is to distribute news across the whole country of Zambia. The ZNBC Director General thanked government for the support it has provided to the national broadcaster to extend its reach. So it shows commitment on the part of this government and we are truly, truly grateful to that. And we are also truly grateful that the PS has actually uh, taken us in this delegation to go around to inspect. And uh, it's always gratifying when you do receive that kind of support. From Porokoso district, this will enable the rural communities be part of the country's developmental agenda despite the radius coverage not reaching all parts of the district. We have now the, the equipment installed and we are grateful as a district because it is now easy to get uh, accurate information uh, through the DNBC Radio 1 and Radio 2. The story is also similar in Singa Hill. Yes, of those maybe transmitters are going to be more than 100 kilometers so that even us from here could access the information being transmitted through those transmitters. And ZNBC has assured that the national broadcaster will attend to the concerns raised. It's good also that we are getting feedback from the community where we've installed the equipment on some of the challenges and the, some of the issues uh, coming out will be addressed immediately. During the tour of Northern Province, the Information and Media Permanent Secretary also visited some community radio stations and Zanis offices where he assured them of government support and urged them to uphold professionalism. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Northern Province.